Hey gearheads, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving under the hood of one of Ford's most legendary modern engines, the 5.0 litre V8 Coyote. Whether you're driving a Mustang GT, an F150, or you're just a fan of American muscle, this engine is a favorite for its raw power, modern tech, and surprising durability. In this video, we'll cover the Coyote's history, performance specs, reliability, and common issues. So buckle up. This is the breakdown every Ford enthusiast should hear. The Ford 5.0 Coyote engine debuted in 2011 as a clean sheet replacement for the aging 4.6 and 5.4 modular V8S developed to compete directly with GM's 6.2 V8 and Chrysler's 6.4. Hemi, Ford engineers had a tall order, create a smaller displacement V8 that could match or outperform the competition and run on regular 87 octane fuel. The result was a compact, powerful and high revving engine built around efficiency and modularity. While it didn't share internal parts with its predecessors, the Coyote maintained the modular engine's bell housing pattern and bore spacing to simplify production. From the start, it was designed to be a performance staple in both the Mustang GT and the F150, with slight differences in tuning between the two. The Coyote is a lightweight yet robust engine. Its aluminum block is paired with cast iron liners in the first two generations and with plasma arc spray cylinder walls in Gen 3. The deep skirt block uses four bolt main bearing caps and houses a forged steel crankshaft and powdered metal connecting rods, components built to handle both high RPM and daily driving. Piston cooling jets help manage heat, while the DOHC valve train with four valves per cylinder ensures smooth breathing at any speed. Timing is handled by durable chains, one for each cam, while camshaft actuation comes via roller finger followers with hydraulic lash adjusters. The standout feature here is Thai VCT, twin independent variable camshaft timing, which allows precise tuning of both intake and exhaust cams. It's performance engineering done right, Early Coyotes from 2011 to 2017 used sequential multiport fuel injection, while Gen 3 from 2018 engines upgraded to dual fuel systems, combining direct injection with port injection. This setup improves both power and efficiency, while addressing some of the carbon buildup concerns of direct injection only systems. The plastic intake manifold features variable runner control for optimal airflow across different RPM ranges. Mustang variants come with tubular stainless steel headers for better exhaust flow, whereas F150 versions use cast manifolds, prioritizing durability and towing performance. Add in an electronically controlled throttle body and efficient ignition via coil-on plug tech, and you've got an engine that's built to breathe and burn fuel with precision. Power varies depending on the model and year. From 2011 to 2017, the Mustang GT produced up to 435 horsepower, while the F150 had a more torque-focused tune. In 2018, the Gen 3 update pushed output in the Mustang to 460 horsepower and raised the red line to an exhilarating 7,500 revolutions per minute. Torque ranges from 380 to 420 pound-foot, depending on the application. The Coyote powers a wide range of vehicles, the Mustang GT, Ford F150, and several performance-focused Australian models like the Falcon GT and XR8. It even found its way into the TVR Griffith sports car. Overall, the Coyote engine is one of Ford's most reliable V8S to date, especially the first two generations. With forged internals, a straightforward design, and proven valve train components, the Gen 1 and Gen 2 Coyotes can easily surpass 200,000 miles with basic maintenance. That said, no engine is perfect. Some early Coyotes developed a ticking noise, often harmless, but sometimes pointing to valve train wear. The Gen 3 engines introduced new complexity. Direct injection, plasma cylinder liners, and thinner tolerances all mean more power, but also higher repair costs. Valve carbon buildup from direct injection can occur without routine cleaning, and the plasma liners, while efficient, can't be easily rebored if damaged. Additionally, fuel economy remains average, especially when compared to turbocharged EcoBoost V6S. Still, if you want that naturally aspirated V8 feel, instant throttle, high revs, and a clean exhaust note, the Coyote is unmatched. 
So, is the Ford 5.0 litre Coyote worth it? Absolutely. Whether you're behind the wheel of a Mustang GT or towing with an F150, the Coyote delivers reliable, naturally aspirated V8 performance with modern tech to back it up. Gen 1 and Gen 2 models are ideal for longevity and easy mods, while Gen 3 is a horsepower junkie's dream at a higher maintenance cost. The beauty of the Coyote lies in its balance. It's raw and responsive, yet efficient and engineered for the long haul. If you're looking for a V8 that blends muscle car soul with modern reliability, the Coyote is the heart you want under your hood.